here, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. So, talking more about who we really are, you know, I'm seeing through school, now my little one is six years old, and, you know, she started year one this year, and the main topic for this year is that they need to learn how to be independent. Now, I remember growing up, you know, and there's this belief around being independent, that you can do things for yourself, that you're strong, you don't need anyone else, you can do it all yourself. That's a belief, and it's been passed on for many, many, many generations. And all that does is make you push others away, because now I can do this myself. I don't need your help. No, I'm right, I can do this myself. I fell down, I can pick myself up. I don't need your help. And all we learn to do is shut others out because we feel that, you know, God forbid, if we ask for help, it's a sign of weakness. Oh, I need help. I can't do this by myself. I'm not good enough. I'm not strong enough. I need someone's help. The truth of it is, in anything that you want to learn in life, you'll need someone's help. Because we're not born knowing everything. Well, you know, I'm talking about things that you want to learn, how you want to learn how to play the piano, you know, or you want to learn how to speak a language, or any of these other things. It's things that you are drawn to, that you really, really want to do. You're going to need someone's help, you know? You need someone to guide you through it, to teach you how to do it. You know, and to me, you know, I, I keep being told that I shouldn't unpack my daughter's bag. You know, that I shouldn't be doing all these things for her. But to me, it's an act of kindness. I'm showing her that I'm, I'm there for her. I know she can unpack it. It's not that hard to unzip a bag and pull out a couple of boxes. It's a no-brainer, you know? She's not showing me any extra talents because she can pull out her own boxes from her bag. She can unzip her bag. She's not any less smarter than anyone else because I'm doing it for her. But for me, it's an act of love. I'm doing it for her because to me, I'm caring for her. I'm showing her that I care. I want to do it. It doesn't bother me. I'm happy to do it for her. Just little things, you know? Someone falls down and you, you're not allowed to go and help them get up, you know? Because, oh, if they can't get themselves up, oh, it's a sign of weakness, you know? Why? Why are we meant to be all like that, that we can do it for ourselves and we can't do it together? When did we stop doing things together? When did we stop needing help or wanting others to be a part of what we're doing. It just shuts everyone else out. Because of this silly belief that, oh, you have to do it by yourself. Because otherwise you're, you know, not strong like the others. Yeah, it's nice to be independent. She's going to have her whole life to be independent. I don't have a problem with that. You know, the things that she likes to do for herself, she dresses herself. I'm happy with that. You know? She goes to the bathroom by herself, she wipes herself, there's heaps of things she does for herself because she wants to. She wants to do it. She's told me, no mum, I can do this. I'm like, good, you can do it. You know? But to push them to do things because, oh, you know, you gotta grow up now. It's time to grow up, you do it for yourself and that whole attitude. I don't know, I just spent most of my childhood trying to do everything for myself. You know, my parents couldn't speak English. And I'm here in Australia and I had to learn how to read and write and do everything for myself without any help. And I remember by year one I was reading fluently in English. You know? But I look back on it now and I look back on my time at school and it was such a lonely childhood at school 
because I was always reading books. I always felt that I had to be learning, that I had to be learning how to do things for myself because I knew that mum and dad didn't have the knowledge to teach me all the stuff I needed for school. I had to do it for myself. So I look back and I think I had very little interaction with other kids at school. Anyway, so, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with seeing another child that looks lost or looks unhappy and to walk up to them yourself and say, hey, what's up? Can I help you? Is there something I can do? Whether you're another child or you're a parent or whoever you are, there's nothing wrong with you being kind and trying to help someone else that looks like they need help. You know, be a human being. When did we stop being human beings? This is the problem. We're so disconnected from each other. There's nothing wrong with being a human being and talking to others like they're human beings. You know? All right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And see if you can start finding the human being in you today. How can you be a better person? I love you guys. Bye for now.